Hey my friends, welcome back. Yeah, in today's video we're gonna paint kind of a grass reed scene uh, with some water added to it. And we first start with the underpainting. Yeah, we're gonna do this underpainting in a kind of a time-lapse uh, so that it's not too boring for you to watch. Yeah, I'm quickly mixing a palette um, with the base colors, more or less. And we yeah, just put in the colors, kind of a mid-tone value, uh, very rough as you can see here. Uh, but still, already um, different, yeah, shades here and there. Basically, just roughly getting in the shape and the color. After we finish the inner painting, we're gonna start to build up the yeah the grass scene on the left side of the painting. Yeah, and here now we are a bit further down the road and start with a very fine brush to build up the grass here. The dark color in the back is still wet, so I can basically pull it in. Oh, by the way, if you like to see this video here in a full-time version, make sure you check out the link here down below to my Patreon, where this video will be featured uh, as a full-time, real-time tutorial, including all the color mixing process and over, I think over five hours of pure painting. Yeah, and I'm using um, different tools here. As you can see here, the, the fan brush um, for getting in details very quick. Um, I will show you this <coughs> part here, also in a time-lapse. And now we dig into the detail part here. And I'm using here um, a fan brush with a very stiff, um, yeah, a, a, a very stiff one, more or less, um, kind of a hog brush. It's not very soft, so I yeah, start to stipple on the color, more or less, roughly. Um, I'm using kind of a dry brush technique here for, for this um, part here, as I'm not aiming to, to really get in the yeah, reed or grass parts in detail. I'm just hinting <coughs> this detail here, more or less. And this is a very yeah, kind of a cheaty way, more or less. Very easy way to to kind of get in details very quick in a very quick way to um, yeah trick the viewer's eye so that we don't have to paint all the single uh, bits of grass here. I'm also kind of um, shading uh, by holding the brush in a different way. Then I get another of those stiff um, hog fan brushes here and start to put in more different colors and more uh, details on top part here so as you can see here and again um, <coughs> the color kind of fades out towards the bottom part of each single stroke of, of, uh, with a brush and this is kind of the secret um, to to really um, yeah, get in those details very quick and very yeah, kind of a bit painterly looking, as you can see here. And then I'm grabbing a darker color, another fan brush, and again very stiff one, and get in some more details. And then when those rough details are done, I grab a very small brush, as you can see here, and start to put in kind of a strategic um, places more details, more um, yeah, detailed parts of those uh, grass bits that we have here. Again, I'm mixing another color for this brownish uh, top parts of those reeds in the back. <coughs> and this is <coughs> a very important aspect that we have lots of different colors, as you can see here. And yeah, grabbing some wider color again. It, it's a back and forth process of working, re readjusting the painting back and forth. Mixing another um, color here, greenish color, and start to put in even more details with this um, very fine round brush here. And this is kind of a repetition from the um, mid-tone value, more or less. As you can see here, uh, this yeah, starts to emerge from those mid-tone values that we have here. 
kind of overlapping to the over the um, darker areas as you can see here and um, with this just hinting those details that are there that's very yeah very easy process of getting in those details very quick yeah as you have seen we have um, added a lot of details and basically just see it as kind of a layering process we start with the underpainting um, add some details to it and add even more and more and more details level by level by level uh, layer by layer by layer and this really um, at least it, this is the way I do it in this case here uh, it's a very easy way a very controllable way and it's yeah I think very simple yeah as you can see here um, <coughs> painting is a bit further down the road and really starting with all those uh, lighter and different tones more lemon yellow to it more raw sienna starting to look more and more realistic and this looks a bit off but in the back we have some areas where we have just the top part of the grass um, kind of detailed and yeah, this this all sums it up and comes together and forms a really nice looking yeah realistic um, grass area it's not a finished area here so now the yeah grass reed part is finished and we start to add now the yeah the, the water details yeah basically um, again using the um, dry underpainting starting to add those ripples with the bigger and smaller brushes also in the back as you can see here um, the key I think is to or the easy way to do it is just to <coughs> put on the color as you can see here it looks very edgy and very rough and then I go back and grab a softer brush with no color to it and, and soften down the the edge and, and basically put the color over um, again in a kind of a dry brush technique um, using just hardly any color especially on these smaller details here and again pulling the color um, yeah, parallel to the, to the waterline and yeah, the, this really helps to yeah, get in the details quickly in a very realistic way I mean you see this part here looks very edgy and very rough <clears throat> but with this pulling technique here with a brush here um, it really softens down and starts to really look realistic and I'm spent quite a bit of time uh, on this area here um, putting the color um, readjusting it here and there yeah, getting in some more color and pulling it over to the right side I, I thought I yeah should add a bit more and you know you can see this dry brush technique in yeah not perfection but it ve ve it's very clear how I do it with just a hint of color to the brush uh, pulling it over to the over this dark area and the same applies for this um, yeah part here on the right side where the where we have the, the reeds basically again adding those smaller ripples and again readjusting them and then we remix this dark color from the water and put this over the um, blue color that we put on before just to add a bit more of those um, ripples and then I think a very crucial part here um, those yeah, details that we have on the water those bits and pieces those yeah, fine whatever um, and these are really important and I try to put them in very randomly uh, different sizes and shapes also some different um, colors in there lighter ones darker ones yeah and here I'm again reworking those ripple parts here on the left side and again it's I, th I think key to to add just even more details even on the water part and then um, finally we add some reeds here on the water and I start by establishing the, the reed itself more or less 
And then I start to build up the shadow or the reflection on the water of this uh, reed here. And yeah, you just have to imagine that the, that this reed is mirrored on the water and the uh, basically on the line where the reed hits the water. And this is, I think, the key to um, yeah to to have a quick um, process of building up those details here, those grass bits pieces here, in a very yeah quick way. Very simple, basically. The, the color needs uh, to be very thin for this process, so that you can pull pull it nicely with the brush. It's really very thin. I added quite a bit of um, linseed oil to it. Yeah, it's not a finished painting. So that's about it for today. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that, that like button. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel here to, so, don't, so you don't miss any new video. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.